I think this guitar is going to be bipolar. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the guitar building videos that I post up here on my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it if you might consider supporting my channel by visiting my YouTube merch store. Down below the description for this video, you'll see my merch shelf. And on that shelf, I've got t-shirts, plans for building guitars, and plans for making the tools that we use to build guitars. And if you can't see that merch shelf, don't worry, there's a link in the description as well. So just know that any purchase you make is gonna help support this channel, plus you're getting something in return. Now, if you would like to support the channel, but don't wanna spend any money, that's okay too. Just be sure to click the thumbs up button. That'll tell YouTube to promote my videos. Now let's get on with today's video. Hey guys, in this episode, I'm going to be winding up a set of Telecaster pickups, and I'll be installing those pickups later on in the guitar you see here. The first thing I've got to do is input the dimensions of each bobbin core into the software that I created for writing the G-code that controls the pickup winder. And the dimensions will include the height of the bobbin, the width of the bobbin's core, and then the bobbin core's length. And along with those dimensions, I'm also going to input the desired number of turns of wire that I want to put on each bobbin. And what I'm going to be doing is putting around 9,000 turns of uh, two different gauges of wire. For the neck pickup, I'm going to use uh, 43 gauge wire. And then for the bridge, I'm going to use 42 gauge wire. Another nice feature with this software is that it allows me to decide whether to wind clockwise or counterclockwise. And then I can also decide on how much scatter I want to put on each bobbin. I can do no scatter or minimum, moderate, or maximum scatter. And I think for this uh, pickup combination, I'm going to do maximum scatter on both bobbins. And this guitar is going to use a three-way toggle switch. And in the middle position, that means both pickups will be selected at the same time. So what I want to do is I want to uh, orient these pickups so that they are reverse wind, reverse polarity. And that means that one bobbin will be north up, the other is going to be south up. And then one will be wound clockwise and the other counterclockwise. So to do that, I had to remagnetize one of the bobbins so that the magnets are south up. And the other one, the bridge pickup, I left north up. The process of winding these bobbins is pretty typical for single coils. The first thing I have to do is thread that fine coil wire through the eyelets. And one of the eyelets will be the start of the bobbin, and then the other eyelet will be the finish. So I have to be conscientious about how I do this according to the direction I'm going to be winding the pickup. But then what I'll do is I'll attach the bobbin to the front of the bobbin plate, and I'm using double-sided sticky tape to hold the bobbin to keep it from spinning, but then to keep it from flying off of the bobbin plate, I'm using a mini lathe live center to hold it against the plate, and I can lock it down so that the bobbin isn't going to go anywhere, even once I've put, you know, anywhere from nine to 10,000 turns of wire on it. Then what I have to do is I have to align my traversing mechanism so that the wire is lined up properly with the bobbin and then I can launch the winder and let it wind. And then once I've reached the desired number of turns, which was 9,000 in this case, the winder actually stops automatically. The traverse, however, has to be stopped manually. And then what I'll do is I'll tape off the wire so that it won't start to unravel once I remove the bobbin from the bobbin plate.
Back in the olden days, they used to wrap the coil with string in order to protect it. And that works okay, but we have better materials available today. And I like to use uh, Teflon plumber's tape. Of course, winding the bridge pickup is gonna be exactly the same process. The only thing that'll be different is I'm gonna be using 42 gauge wire instead of the 43 gauge that I used on the neck pickup. Now one concession I'm making to tradition is the use of cloth pushback wire for my lead hookup wires. When I solder up the leads, I'm going to solder the black wire to the start of the coil and then the white wire to the finish. And I'll do that on both pickups, but because one of the pickups is wound opposite the other and they have uh, reversed polarity from one another, the black and white wires where you see them being soldered into the bridge pickup is actually going to be reversed on the neck pickup. However, they'll still be um, black to start, white to finish. It's just they're going to be at opposite eyelets. And that's because of the reverse wind uh, strategy that I'm following. And that way when the two pickups are selected together in the guitar, they'll be hum canceling and they'll be in phase. And then of course the last step in the coil winding process is to pot the pickups in wax. And I'll just dip them into um, a small crock pot with paraffin wax and I'll let them sit for about 15 minutes before I remove them and let them cool down. All right, well that's basically how I do a reverse wind, reverse polarity, Telecaster style, single coil pickup set. And in a future video, I'm going to install these and I hope to shoot video of that process as well. And until then, um, as always, I hope you found this video to be useful, to be informative. If so, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell for notification. Uh, if you would like to show this channel some support financially, you can either purchase a t-shirt or a plan from my YouTube merch store. Uh, which is uh, down below the description for this video. And if you don't see it, there is a link in the description as well. And if you would also like to uh, show some financial support, but maybe not spend so much money, you can click the thanks button and leave a tip. It's up to you. Uh, at any rate, until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.